Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Corey here. Today I'm bringing you my first tutorial video for Instagram and social media, specifically Instagram tips for drummers and musicians out there. So hang tight, these are my five tips to use Instagram as a drummer. I'll throw a cut of you in the video somewhere. <laughs> Shout out to Vic Firth. You guys should make dog toys. Oh, look at the face. Tip number one, post consistently. Everybody talks about this. You can get on YouTube, you can search Google and everybody will say, well, just post every day. Uh, that's true, but post consistently at the same time of the day. So for example, when I started Instagram and doing drum videos, I was always posting at about 7 a.m. every single day before I went into work. And people would look for that in the morning. They would wake up, they lay in bed and surf Instagram and they'd always see that video there at the same time every single day. So post consistently, that's tip number one. Tip number two, use high quality video and audio gear. Go invest in a good camera, invest in a good recording software, invest in a good computer, save up money, work that extra job if you have to, and get the gear that you need. Um, because you're not only gonna have a higher viewership on your videos and your content, but it's gonna sound better, it's gonna look better, it's gonna be more appealing to your target audience. So I know that iPhones have good cameras on them, but the audio really stinks. Um, so audio is probably the first thing that you would wanna take care of as a drummer. Get a good camera after that and use those for your videos. When I started Instagram, not a lot of drummers were posting um, high quality videos on Instagram. They were just using their iPhone with the audio and the video. And so I decided, well, you know what? I'm gonna invest in some good camera gear and some good recording gear, and I'm gonna chop 15 second videos into Instagram videos and post those daily, consistently, tip number one, in the morning every day. And people liked that and they just started following and watching my content. Tip number three, have good high engaging engagement. High engaging engagement. <laughs> have good engagement. To get engagement, you have to reply to people's comments. You have to have a genuine conversation with them. Don't just put okay, yeah, or an emoji, but actually have a conversation. Type out a paragraph if you have to. If they ask you a question, give them the details. Sometimes I find uh, people on Instagram that they don't want to give out their secrets, and that's okay to some things because maybe you have an art or a certain way that you do something and you don't want people to know everything that you do to create that. But help people. If they ask you a question or they say, hey, what kind of snare drum are you playing? What kind of cymbals do you have? Help them out, let them know. You want people to play the same stuff you have, right? I mean, that's kind of the goal. Another thing that helps engagement is replying to people's direct messages. And even though it may not be something that everybody can see or everybody can read, you will have people that spread that message to everybody else and they say, hey, I messaged that guy, I reached out to him and he replied back to me. Um, there's some guys that I've personally messaged on Instagram with questions who maybe have a very large following or they're uh, a famous and well-known drummer from a band or something like that and they never reply to me. Um, it says that they've seen the message and they never say anything back. Well, that kind of comes off a little bit rude in a sense and it's not that everybody has to reply to every single person because I know that I personally can't reply to all the messages I get but go on there and the messages that you read, if somebody's got a question or they're asking for advice, try to reply to them. If you've got the time and you're sitting, you know, in your car and you're waiting on somebody to walk out of a store, like AKA my wife walking out of Target, <laughs> or you're hanging out with your little puppy, little Jaxie here, he's my little puppy. He's a good boy. I'm holding him because he was chewing stuff up while I was trying to record this, but I'm talking about you. Um, but if I'm hanging out with my dog and I've got nothing to do, I'll hop on Instagram. I'll check out the direct messages coming through. I'll go through them and read all of them. And if I need to reply to one, I will. Um, it's just like having a conversation with somebody in person. You don't wanna ignore that person if they're right in front of your face. And even though they might not be right directly in front of your face, you're still building a relationship there on Instagram and all social media for that matter. So just make sure that you're replying to people, 
You're being genuine as if you were there in front of them. Tip number four is using the correct hashtags. Um, a lot of times on Instagram, people can use too many hashtags and they can use hashtags that are too general and too popular. My goal is always to use like four or five hashtags that are maybe really general and really popular. For example, like the hashtag drums that has millions of tags on there. Um, but then I also try to kind of target down my hashtags as well. So I'll do hashtag team Remo since I'm part of the Remo family or hashtag Peisty symbols or Peisty, things like that. So I try to find those little niches and hashtags that aren't too general, but they've got a popular amount of tag post on there. And the total amount of hashtags I use is probably, it's usually about 20 to 25. I think you can do more than that on Instagram, but um, it's always best to just find the hashtags that work for your niche and not overdo it if you don't need them on there or if they don't pertain to your content that you're posting. Okay, tip number five one hand. Tip number five would be to enjoy what you're posting. Have fun doing what you're posting and the, the content that you're creating. Don't go and create an Instagram page and start boosting content out there just because you're trying to get followers or views on something. That's never the goal and that's never the reason really to post stuff on Instagram and social media, but really love what you're doing. So for me, uh, I really love drums. I grew up playing drums. It's like my number one passion in life is playing drums, doing anything with music. So I provide that content for people to watch. When I started Instagram, I wasn't doing it so that people would necessarily watch it. I was just doing it because I love to do it. And that will show through in your videos. People will see that you gen genuinely like to post stuff like that and they'll give you a follow if they want to. So enjoy what you're doing, enjoy what you're posting about, have fun creating, be creative, and um, yeah, those are my five tips. I hope that will help somebody out there. More videos to come for Instagram, YouTube, social media, things for musicians, tutorials, etc. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.